Thank you to Harry's and ExpressVPN for sponsoring. More on them after the reaction. Citizens of the Reject Nation, it is time for Gremlins 2, the new batch. <laughs> yes. Ron Joxy and Niles, baby. Ron Joxy, we're back. Better than ever? Yeah, man. We're going to get watered. We're going to multiply. We're going to wreak some havoc. havoc. We're going to get watered sounds really intense. Going to get watered. Like, mm, it's been a long time since I've been watered. That's right, man. Bust out the can. <laughs> Need to get Drizzle watered. on us. Do you think that for the new batch, what happened is they all sat in a room and they're like, okay, what's the second one called? We got rid of that old mm, batch. Yeah. What's going to be the new batch? And they're just like, good enough. That's, yeah, exactly. Someone's like, stop right there. I think you just stepped in hit. If you think that that's how they got to the title, then leave a comment. Leave a like. Even if you don't think that's how they got there, subscribe. Do all that good stuff. And, of course, the sexiest of people oh, yeah. become a patron. Mm -hmm. Go over to Patreon where you get exclusive content and you can sync up with your own video, video copy. copy. That's where John and Greg exclusively do watch-alongs and other stuff over there. I didn't look down, so who knows if I got that right. It's mostly there yeah. <laughs> I can see the little smile like she's 90% <laughs> she's 90 years old maybe if we water her a little bit <laughs> A little more. And thank you, Prepper, for making me look good and always editing down our videos. Look at her go. She's flying through. She's a gremlin creature. So. And I'm ready for gremlins, too. You ready? I'm ready. Let's, let's batch it up. New batch it up. Let's new batch it up. Let's open up the new batch. I'm sick and tired of your old batch, John. No, I'm sorry. A step into the future. Here we go. Oh my god. Hey! What's up, Duck? What's up, Duck? Eh. I'm taking charge here. That's what's up. What? It's so meta. I am riding the shield from now on. Because I uh, personally have all the talent around here. Have you ever seen this? No. <laughs> this is, is this four gremlins? I it must be. <laughs> what is happening? Ho ho. Very funny. Ho ho. We expect to hear from my attorneys. <laughs> yes. <laughs> expect to hear from my attorneys. Duck season and fire. If I'm not gonna star in this cartoon, we might as well just start the movie. <laughs> Wow. This is not what I expected at all. New batch, new intro, baby. That's right. New bumper, new everything. Man. Oh, oh, he's back. Back and billier than ever. Yeah. Phoebe Cates. I hope her tragic backstory gets even more tragic. Flashback. Or yeah. it didn't happen. Christopher Lee. Let's go. Sometimes film makes things look blurry and gritty in the best of ways. It's yeah, just like, man. <sighs> Nothing like grain and glass. Give me you that can grain. Really feel it. Not that uh, digital cameras don't use glass, but this is different. <laughs> Their glass is glassier. Yeah. And classier. <laughs> hey. Oh my God, are we are we back in Chinatown? And Rick Baker on the co-produce, not bad. Jerry Goldsmith is back, the whole gang. Dirty streets make me sad. This guy. <laughs> this guy, this dude. Oh no, y'all leave my boy alone. You think somebody else has come to steal? Yeah. Frank Marshall, Steven Spielberg, Kathleen Kennedy, the whole crew. Yeah, dream team, boy. Some people have been working for a minute. Daniel Clapp. I'd like to speak to you. Oh boy, Daniel Clamp. It's via VHS? Yes. <laughs> Wheel it in for the class. Good morning, Mr. Wayne. I'm prepared to increase my offer substantially. You're attached to your business. I appreciate that. I'm attached to my business. I develop the biggest buildings <laughs> in New York. What is this pitch? And you sell um, little things. Well, that's fine. Ouch. The uh, Clamp Chinatown Center, where business gets oriented. Oh, oh, dude. Come on, man. 
this building will be state-of-the-art, from the voice-activated elevators right down to the self-cleaning ashtrays. I'm really excited about it. No, no. It's fine. Don't let him... Oh, the little sneeze. I made a decision, Mr. Wayne. You know, I believe... <sighs> My allergies are killing me while yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> Always an area of agreement that two people can reach. <laughs> that smile. <laughs> a man can always agree with others. It is more difficult to agree with oneself. I like that quote. Bars. Confucius. <laughs> or Bruce Lee. There are more than two notable racist Chinese people. Or racist or <laughs> racist? Yes. Uh, please tell Mr. Clamp that the answer is still no. Do you think that actor heard him say that line and is rolling his eyes like, ugh, Hollywood? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, no, he was grateful to have the work because you got to start somewhere. Oh, my God, the, f the little fingers. Oh, let's go, Sly. It's one of the, oh, this must be Rambo 2. Or Survive a war. You got to become war. I've only seen First Blood. Check out the reaction here on this channel. I don't know if I've ever seen the Rambo movies. Dude, you should come join me and Coy. No visit to New York is complete without a tour of the world's most fully automated office building. My Clamp Premier Regency Trade Center. God, what a logo to <laughs> smushing planet Earth. Clamp Cable Network Television. You gotta clamp down, you know? Yeah. What's your favorite corporate logo? Comment below. Mr. Wing removes the last to developer Daniel Clamp's long-delayed Chinatown project. This quaint little shop must now make way for the future. No. You gotta fix this gizmo. Nobody. He is, like, Grogu is him. Yeah. <laughs> it's so weird how, like, direct the resemblance is once you see this. Even the noises. Yeah. Oh, run, little guy. This is so messed up. Little buddy. <laughs> Look at his little shuffle. Well, Lewis, it's like I've always said. If you want to find something weird, you have to go downtown. Wow, no. If you saw Gizmo on the ground, would you pick him up? That's an excellent question. <laughs> I, I have no idea. I guess I would want to. <laughs> yeah, but if we stayed in Kingston Falls, I probably would have been promoted twice at the bank by now. Yeah, and you'd hate it. I don't know. At least we could afford to get a decent place to live. Oh no, don't sell your soul, Billy. Welcome to the Clamp Entry Matic, a revolution in revolving door precision. I like that Clamp sounds like an STD. Yes. <laughs> it's like a New York Rite of Passage, though. That guy was walking here. Whoa. Oh my God, your dad should come work here. <laughs> Whoa. Please be careful in stepping. Are they not going to help? No. Now I hate them. Yeah, it's an anti-save the cat moment right there. Billy, you're so good at your job. Sooner or later, they're bound to notice. The honor system works. I wonder what building they shot this in. Maybe then we can get married. Okay. Maybe Aww. then we get married. But Marla, don't you think that the first Listen, plan Listen, this deadline, it's not my fault. They're making me miserable, so I have to make you miserable. <laughs> this is your problem right here. You only see your little part of it. I have to have a complete situation, a long-term overview outlook perspective. It's like a British New York accent. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Part well, it's, of it. It's that like high class Atlantic accent. It'll be better with the trees. Yeah, but the way it is now. Elms. Oh, good morning, Mr. Forster. It looks like somebody hasn't read his employee manual. Oh, good. Doesn't it, Mr. Coatser? <laughs> wow. I spoke to him about that plant weeks ago. I talked to you about that plant. Well, I know I was going to do something, but I just. You're fired. Throw him in the brig. What's this? And that's Kingston Falls. Do you know how much the Clamp organization has spent to provide its employees with art by recognized artists? Christ. He's just going to shred it. <laughs> it's mathematically perfect art. Oh, he's going to shred the piece of paper. I know, but it was just a little... A little touch. Maybe everybody here would like to do some little touches. Coffee mugs that say world's greatest lover. What? The ashtray that reads, rest your butt here. I will, I will take one. Coming to work every day in a $200 million flea market. Wow. I love that guy. It's who I aspire to be. Listen, Marla, I am doing the best that I can. Billy, do me a favor. Do better. Oh. Her voice is unbelievable. Yeah, and her man. hair is mwah. 
<laughs> you could be that. You could climb. <laughs> if I could to that that level. Believe I can achieve. <laughs> It's so funny because some styles come back in fashion, like this girl's hair with the clip. She could be today. Dude, Gremlins 3, let's That's get it going. Authorized break period, my friend. You don't work here anymore. Oh, my God. Mm. Now what kill is this, him. Squid Games? Alert, personnel. We have a career opportunity in level seven. Jesus Christ. The most advanced smart building in America. These hats make me sick. Smart building. What year was this? The first one's 84. Now, for those of you who have cable TV at home... This feels like the 80s still. The or like cable right at the network is top of the 90s. Right here. Yeah. Clamp cable network? I guess you had to. 89, maybe? Batman? The attack of the octopus people. Oh, my God. Oh. It's the Wizard of Oz. It's so scary, it'll uncross your eyes. It's a good thing. <laughs> it'll uncross your eyes. Where's the moan? He looks like Grandpa and the Munsters. Sorry, Fred. Can somebody find a day with the hey, Fred. Moan, please? Oh, Fred. Listen, I heard about your new time slot. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. First thing, I think they're making a big mistake. Oh. Kid, it's a disaster. Clearly. People who watch TV at 3.30 in the morning aren't scared of the wolf, man. The only thing that scares those people is getting sober and finding work. That's <laughs> literally me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't knock us insomniacs, all yeah. right? Hey, I thought maybe you could use it on your show. Sure. Yeah. Put it in the back. Would you? This is where you need to work, man. This isn't what I had in mind. I went into broadcasting. I thought I was going to do news. This is better. Something meaningful. You're the Sven Gulli of New York. No special effects. All I have is a cross-eyed puppet named Igor. You don't need a gimmick. Gimmicks suck, bro. Yeah, be your authentic self in Dracula makeup. All the great horror movies are Bird. in black and ah. <laughs> Got him. Mr. Clamp only likes color. Have you seen him? Well, no, not in person. Only on that cockamamie video they got all. Cockamamie, underrated word. Dude, truth. There's a research laboratory upstairs. Genetic research. Fooling around with animals. Of course. Fooling around. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's a different kind of research, <laughs> you know what I mean? Spliceo Life Inc. It's weird. This movie has a, a wild reputation, and yet just the way this company is set up, I feel like, has aged into greater relevance. <laughs> People like this one better than the first one? Can I help you? I don't know. Maybe now. I delivered for Dr. Catheter. Dr. Catheter. Hey, uh... Is that Gremlin song? What kind of stuff do they do in there, anyway? We're not supposed to talk about it. <laughs> Bless. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Ew. That counts as a signature. Dr. Catheter, this just came for you. Oh, splint. <laughs> this must be my malaria. Must my be my malaria. <laughs> just rabies. I've got rabies. Drat. I've got rabies. So they're making the mogwai sick. Well, I think we have the flu up backward. <laughs> oh. Could I have that, Peggy? Oh, yes, sure. Thank you. Ew. <laughs> this is so strange. <laughs> I hate Dr. Catheter. Christopher Lee. Casper, I have this tissue analyzed. Wow. We've got something we want you to take a look at. I found it downtown on one of my specimen scouts. It's some sort of rodent, apparently. Same That's actor or right. different? I'm going to guess same for this day and age. Unless they got some crazy splice of technology. I bet these guys are twins. They're different actors. I, did I say same? <laughs> Sorry. It's the intoxicating air of all these germs. Uh, watch this, Doctor. Well, I'm ready. I'm willing. And I'm able to rock and roll tonight. I'm ready. Yup, get down. Oh, let's go. Cut a rug, my friend. I know th something about Gizmo that I'm dying to tell you. Oh, all right. I didn't mean to see it. What procedures you propose to adopt? Cell samples tomorrow. Tissue cultures Thursday. And then of course there's body structure. Ugh, Catherine Pesky sucks. body structure. We'll just have to cut you. <gasps> oh, God, the expressions. I've definitely like upgraded the puppet, I guess. Honey, my light went out. You sat still for too long. The building thinks that you left. It's saving energy. Jump around. Jump around. Jump up, jump up, and get down. Honey, hello? Kate, are you there? Kate? 
Smart building kind of sucks. In the 80s, it worked. 90s, whenever we are. Oh. <gasps> Here. Excuse me, where'd you hear that? Oh, uh, is that? I was up in that uh laboratory, you know, in 51. That's freaking Tuco. No way. That's freaking Tuco from Breaking Bad. Is it? Yeah, like He's so young there, like, I didn't recognize skinny him. Skinny little Tuco. Is that really? I'm pretty sure. I saw him in a coffee shop once. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember that little bitch. I hear your copier's down. Oh, it is. Yeah. Oh, oh it's back there. Thank you. <laughs> Oh my god, the sound effects on it. Yeah, it's disgusting. Just like every time. This is like a clown house. Oh, there's organ music in here. Oh my god, what? Just think. Millions of rats in New York City and everyone hates them. But if one of them could power a portable radio for a month... What? <laughs> <gasps> is that like a vinegaroon? Watch this, Doctor. Definite progress, gentlemen. So what are you going to do? Just like put all the rats against the grid? Is Gizmo going to recognize him? Giz? Just a little buddy. If only we could make it safe to touch them. Give them rubber-coated fur. Mister, welcome to the men's room. <laughs> Have a good pee. What's his game plan here? I don't know. Why is he stopping in the bathroom? I feel like get him out. They need the little nails are wild. Yeah. Hey, guy. How you doing? Did you miss me? Ask me what I know. What do you know? Howie Mandel is voicing Gizmo. What? <laughs> How weird is that? Was he the first time? I don't know. I don't know. I didn't oh. mean to see it. It was the one thing I saw. Whoa. He's got so much more hair than Howie Mandel. That is wild. I couldn't keep it inside anymore. It's okay. <laughs> it's only adding flavor to this already flavorful movie. Greg's gonna kill me. <laughs> what is this? Is this a little black armband? Is that what happened to the old man that used to take care of you? Is he wearing it out of solidarity for the dead? So do me a favor, get down there and don't say anything and I'll come back and take you home as soon as possible. Okay. Oh my god, this is too dangerous. Leave work, call out sick. Nah, the building will track you down. It's him! He's here! Oh, oh my oh. god! Careful! Okay, see, we have to get down. Oh, it's pulsing. Oh, guy. He clamped his hand. I know I haven't been down here before, but that's gonna change. I'm gonna be more uh, hands-on with these operations from now on. Of course, with my smart hands. You've captured the whole essence of the project right here. Oh my. Uh, Billy. Uh, well, William Peltzer, sir. Uh, Bill, huh? Bill. You got your office name now. Bill, people see Elm, they think Dutch, disease. Do they really? Absolutely. <laughs> oh no. What's with that drawer? Uh, it's automatic. It opens every now and then, just in case you need something. <laughs> Give me one of those. We called you Bill. This is very big Billy. <laughs> This is a career opportunity advancement window. Do you really think so? We can talk about it at dinner. Uh-oh. Well, I can't really do it tonight. I have something tonight, too, Billy. A brochure for the Clamp Cable Archery Channel. It's a total trauma riddler deadline emergency. Wow. You know what? I'm letting it go. To have dinner with you. True love. True love. I forgot about characters like this. <laughs> you keeping some kind of pet in there? Let me see. Come on. You know, maybe tonight would be the best. Great. Yeah, let's do it tonight. There's a very chic new restaurant. It's Canadian. They clean the fish right at your table. Wow. Okay, Gizmo, now listen. I have to go. I'm going to send someone to pick you up, okay? So just stay put. And then I'm going to go get Canadian cuisine. Billy. Yeah. Ready? Damn it. People like this don't exist. <laughs> nah, she's got an ulterior motive. Giz. Please be He's careful. He's got major E.T. vibes, too, actually. Oh, the little paperclip rope. <laughs> it's so cute. Listen, um, I'm not going to be able to go out with you tonight. I'm sorry. Fooey. Fooey. I've got a meeting with some people. A meeting? Yeah. Right. He's lying to her? Yeah. Gizmo's here, and... Uh, that furry he... thing? Well, yeah, he's up in my desk drawer. Oh. <laughs> Oh. Take him home? Our home? Billy! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! 
J just obey the rules, that's all. Oh, the rules. Remember the first one? Don't let them uh, get exposed to bright light, especially sunlight, oh, because it kills them. All right, with the bathroom when he turned the lights off. Don't, no. don't let them get wet. And the third one is don't let them uh, eat, eat after, after midnight. midnight. Yep. Boom. We're on top of things. And don't talk about Fight Club. Yeah. Ah, oh, Christ. Ew, ew. No, no. Let's say the guy goes to the bathroom for 30 seconds. A man's earning $375 when he stands there. <laughs> Don't go down the rabbit hole of business logic. You will not win. Point Jeez. Oh, 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 three cents. oh, no. Oh, no, dude. Don't get wet. Don't get wet. Guy, they pay $375 to go to the bathroom for 30 seconds. No. <laughs> Run, Giz. Oh, those dancing days are done. Jesus. Jesus, dude. I know the system is unfair, but but you could also be doing a better job fixing this water fountain. No, 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 no. Ugh, 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 ugh. <laughs> a little spring sound effect. You think this effect. is painful? Looks painful. Ugh. Oh, who is that? Oh, no. Oh, my God. It's like goofy. It's like the dwarves now. Yeah. Ah! What a predicament. Just to be like, oh no, I got splashed. Now I'm giving birth. I'm not being paranoid. The guy's after my job. They do a great job with the design on these. Yeah. And they're doing a lot more like in camera motion and walking effects this time. <laughs> oh no, his band. I'm sad about that. Yeah. They're trying to push him down. Yeah. They're oh. bullying him. They're trying to get rid of him so they can have their way with everything. So they can wreak havoc unchecked. What happened to make Gizmo like the only good one? Because he was raised, right? I don't know. So she's maybe going to grab the wrong one, right? Yeah. There are at least a couple that have a similar color scheme. Oh, I know that mohawk. I know that mohawk. They also have cameras everywhere, right? <laughs> it seems. I mean, it seems like this building is just like surveilling you at all times. Nope. Nope. Billy said to take you home. Okay. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> at least that one's kind of jolly. New York does to people. There's Mo. Okay. He's like, if I had just stayed in the drawer. Yeah. Seems like, yeah, like, Gizmo is only susceptible to these antics to the point of, like, basic mischief and getting himself in difficult situations rather than, like, full-on chaos. Like, it almost feels like he sort of can't help himself. Well, he's like a baby, but he's not. <laughs> Rescue party is six, eh? What time is it? To the rescue party of six. <laughs> that was good. You know, I always just draw these comic strips. I had this big box of crayons. Oh, and I, used to... I had crayons too. And when I was four years old, I was using them to write memos to the other children. I had crayons too. Can relate. I wrote a lot of memos as a child. Can relate. Now let's talk about your relationship to Mr. Clamp. Jesus Christ. I see corner offices and boss letterhead. I see us swallowing up the publicity department. Really? Or, uh... I'm feeling so vulnerable with you, Billy. I've never talked about these feelings before. <laughs> when art and business join forces, anything can happen. Oh my god, that is a bar. We feel that we should join. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> but, like, I blame him completely for this. Yeah. You can't just pretend, like, I'm innocent, Billy. I couldn't have helped it. Like, stand up to her, dude. Uh, I'm kind of in a hurry. I'm sorry about your, okay. your shoe or your second. Whoa, dude. Say I'm not into you. How about some horns? How about some horns? Where's the poutine, man? You have one job to do. 
say what kind of stuff you like to eat. So I hope this is okay. It's a chicken and some mashed potatoes. Wowie. <laughs> oh, those eyes. Try to be a little bit more careful around here. Okay, Gizmo? You don't really have He said I'm not Gizmo. <laughs> oh my god, no. <laughs> You are not as charming as Gizmo. No. Even by half. Oh! Uh, I'm worried. Imagine she just saw her boyfriend sneak off with another girl and she's still doing this. That's a real one. She got she got trust in him. She shouldn't. He lied. Yeah. I know the comments are not on my side right now, but I am annoyed with him. No, he could have handled this better. He could have been more upfront about this. It's okay. What happened to you? What happened to you? Dude! Where's Gizmo? My... D Brr. Hey, Giz. Guess who... Oh. Man, I, I, I guess there are less ways to see your face on the way home, but still. This is not Gizmo. Oh! That is a loaded Twinkie. <laughs> Where they hiding the good Twinkies, man? When is she going to say something about the lipstick? She's still doing this. Like, oh ugh. my god! I feel sick right now, John. Sick. Oh great! Look at that bee. It's so late. Should I get it? You, you better get it. It's her. Uh, Who is it? It's better. Oh, say, Ag. Hey. Aww. Oh, I'm happy they brought them back. Can I get you some some coffee or some tea? Little pickers. <laughs> We tried to get a cab up here. Do you know they got Russian guys driving cabs in this burg? Up. Oh. Like I can do a cab with a briefcase full of atomic secrets or something like that. Don't people care about that anymore? Seems mm -hmm. like oh, so <laughs> Must be the 80s still, right? I guess so. That was the weirdest moment. Cold War is going to be won and lost in a taxi cab in NYC. <laughs> what was that? It's all right, dear. Gremlins on the wing. You can't stay here tonight. I'm really sorry, and I'd love it if you could, but the building is, it's being, it's being fumigated. Fumigated. And, and uh, you know, mice and stuff like that. No sweat. We'll, uh, we'll book it to a hotel. Oh. How about we call you tomorrow night? We'll get together and have dinner, okay? Okay, great. great. Beautiful. I feel so bad for them, even though he's clearly racist. Something is. The, the less we know about Mr. Futterman's politics, I think the better. Nationalist? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, charming guy. Just don't go too far into the conspiracy theories, okay? The peanut butter cup's all natural. I know they're pesticide free. That's not the same thing. They could put a hundred other things in there. Christ. No. Oh my God. <laughs> You're gonna blow up, dude. Are you sure that isn't Oh! This is, oh my God. if I was a gremlin, this is where I would go. <laughs> Hot toppings. They're going to eat after midnight. Pantramatic doors are being operated by top technicians to serve you better. Please feel free to use the manual doors for... It is fascinating how this movie plays today. Thing in the topping. What kind of thing was in the topping? I don't know, a furry thing. It was a furry. It was a whole furry convention. It's supposed to be health food. It's after midnight and they've eaten. What are we going to do now? Come on. Is it supposed to be health food? I guess. It's it's like super, super state-of-the-art yogurt. With peanut butter cups? There. Oh. That's where the water comes into the building. Right. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh. Yeah. But what about your corner office, man? Your letterhead. Hold it! Hold it right there! Get the hell out of there! That's a restricted area! Move it! Come on, move! Damn, stop or I'll shoot. What's in the bag? Nothing. Let's have a little look at that nothing. <laughs> hey! <laughs> oh shit! Oh my you just god! Firing? Yeah. Oh my goodness gracious me. There are more of these things in here. We, we gotta shut the building down. No. We! No, there's only one thing we gotta do. We gotta get the cops, and we gotta have them put you in a rubber room. Uh, <laughs> I've dealt with them before they wreck things. Oh, they wreck things. Ooh. Uh, yeah. Excellent. 
Uh, what the fuck? Those ones that were just like in those jelly things hatching. Yeah. Six hours. They probably made their cocoons by now. Come on. Oh, cocoons. There we go. Yeah. They're in metamorphosis. It's funny because they're like a real threat. <laughs> they are, yeah. They get so much out of the contrast because he is like the sweetest and the rest of them are just nightmares. I hate that they took his bracelet. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Don't get slimed. Oh no. Oh no. Damn it. <laughs> Whoa. No. It's a good cartoony motif right there. But what there. happened? I don't know. He just got jumped. Maybe someone's going to come out wearing his fur. Bright light. We'll need some of these. Uh, oh, oh my God. Don't torture my dude. I don't like this, John. It's okay. Good morning, Billy. Oh, hi. <laughs> Last night was so wonderful. Jesus Christ. This is Kate. This is my... Oh, my goodness. I have to go right away. Hello. Hi. Cute bat. Ugh. I mean, that's the woman that Billy, I work with. Billy, if we get through today alive, you're in big trouble. Yes, Finally. Finally. What do you get for not being honest? Yeah. You could have nipped this a little bit better in the bud, my friend. Sir, you've got to evacuate the not building. The suit, please. Evacuate the building? Why is that? There are creatures in it, sir. Creatures. <laughs> these small furry animals, and then what happens is they eat after midnight. They metamorphose, and they form these cocoons. Help, sir. You're having a psychotic episode. <laughs> well, no, they eat, and then they go into the cocoons. Yeah, well, sure, you're going into a cocoon. You want to have a little something first. That guy was in, like, every 80s movie wearing a suit. Mr. Kitsuji, please, could you get back in line? Uh, oh, jeez. <laughs> Japanese people do love cameras. So many of you have written in asking, how can we zing up our party appetizers? She I wrote in. familiar, too. Yeah, I was thinking that. What if one of them eats something at 11 o'clock, but then he gets something stuck in his teeth? Yeah, like a caraway seed uh, or a sesame seed. Whatever. <laughs> what, what if they're eating in an airplane and they cross a time zone? I mean, it's always midnight somewhere. It's always yeah, midnight, midnight somewhere. somewhere. Yeah, exactly. no, that's great. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, my God. Yeah. Now you know. Ooh, pack and punches. Decked, my man. Vindicated. <laughs> yeah. Tuna noodle cheese product chowder surprise in just a few minutes. Ugh, I'm sick. She getting sloshed. The show must go on. So let us ladle up some of our... Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, yeah. No. Ew. Is that the best turkey baster scene you've seen in a while? Ah. Come on. Come on, Marge. Get him. What, what are you going to do with it? I don't know. It? I don't know. Do you see what these monsters are doing? They're throwing the new channels into the microwaves. You can't do that. Oh, goodness. They want to cause an explosion? My college roommate put some stuff in a microwave that you shouldn't. It was pretty interesting. Oh, yeah. And it looks a lot like that. Oh. Nog. Nog. The guy with the camera looks like another one of those character actors oh my God, who look did at a them lot. Pop out of the back. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Oh my god. They just get to skip metamorphosis. Sell this footage, man. What an interesting character he is. Like, what? He's just obsessed with documentation. Even that, though, has, like, aged into relevance. 
Climate control malfunction, floors 15 and 16. What's going on? Uh, look, sir, the pest infestation monitor is reading critical. I thought this building was supposed to be smart. Well, what is that? I don't know that they're not pests. Could be rats, right? Right, it's not. Whatever they are, they've got to respect the chain of command. <laughs> they do. Yes, sir, e. Barberino. There's Xeroxing in the house. Now do your butt. Do your butt. Photocopy your butt. Oh, no, they're just doing gizmo. Oh, that is horrible. The, the light is so bright in there. And you just tried to pimp out gizmo telling him to do his butt. You know, I'm part of the problem, Roxanne. I'm part of the problem. I am a gremlin. Oh no. Ugh. It's gonna be like Willy Wonka. You're just gonna bust out the top of the building. Betty, did you finish shredding my mail from this morning yet? Betty? Betty, that's her name? People in Chinatown give a street festival, a sort of a, a spontaneous outpouring of appreciation for the, uh, you know, everything I've done for the community down there. <laughs> and, uh, Maybe we could have a, a parade, you know, with all oh, oh, that, uh, that big department. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> That's a spicy meatball. I think I own that. Is it going? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Wow. Did they just steal her shawl or did she morph? No. No way did she morph. Whoa. Oh, but they, yeah, they just stole her shawl with the thing on it. <laughs> I just love that he's, he's planning a spontaneous block party. In honor of him. To, to look like just people wanted to celebrate him genuinely. <laughs> like, it's so, it's so great. It's like, it's revealing how canned so many things in actual society are. It was, did a pretty good job of predicting the future. Oh! No. No, clamp. Oh, man. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Let go of my ties. <laughs> Wow. We have to get everyone out of the building, and we gotta close the building down. That's ridiculous. We gotta do it before sundown, too. Yeah? What happens at sundown? <laughs> they hate sunlight. It kills them. But when it gets dark out, they're gonna try and leave the building and, and get out into New York. And if Tell they do, sir, I don't know what's gonna down. Dude. How do you know about them? Well, you see, sir, there's this animal, and it was in the genetics laboratory. Of course, and those guys, I warned you that could be a problem, tenant. We could have had three shrinks and a plastic surgeon in there. Oh, wow. You gotta do better, you know, with the with choosing who you, rent space. Imagine having a plastic surgeon. <laughs> I mean, a plastic surgeon seems like it would be well at home in this building. You would have enough business just from like people on other floors alone. <laughs> oh my god, what a nightmare! No, by the hair. Yes. I'd be scared to bite them. Sure. Jesus. Ugh. Ugh. Yes. I've always wondered about that. Ah. Please no. I want to see a bunch of gremlins and bustiers. I believe she survived that. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll get the next one. What? <laughs> they look like the two of the Sanderson sisters. Nobody in this movie helps each other when they see each other struggling. Yeah. The movie police. I'm Leonard Malton. Yeah, I was going to say, was the, we had Leonard Malton's book growing up. That's actually Leonard Malton. Yes. Movie Gremlins. I can't imagine why. Uh, now, I know some uh, people found uh, this movie fun, but me, I'd rather spend two hours having root canal. That's Leonard Malton, it man. It is. Shouts out. Slimy, mean-spirited, gloppy little monsters who run amok and attack innocent people. Our moviegoer is so desperate for entertainment. That, this uh, <laughs> that is so cool. 
Well done. I Very love fun. him. I love that he decided to do this. I want a super cut of. Oh my god. Ah. How do they taste? Ah, that's the best part. We've already had calls from the chefs at two of the airlines. Oh. I'm making oh. him tougher. No. They're gonna be tougher. Did somebody leave something out? Not I. It's eating my vegetable medley. Not I. Whoa. What on earth? Veglin? And what are they, Martin? A virus? Belch and tomato face. That's a good creature. Now, let's talk this over. Eat Dr. Catheter now. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Is that what the brain juice did to you? Don't drink the bat juice. Uh, what the f- What the f- Moana. Talk a little bit about what's going on in this room, because- What? There are some fascinating ramifications here for the future. Uh, fascinating. I believe that's a common bat of the order Coroptera. The only mammals I might add capable of two flies. Yes. Bat gremlin. Man bat. My friend, you have potential. I want to help you be all that you can be. May I? Yes. What is this Cary Grant voice? <laughs> where you'll be going. To hell. What does he mean where he'll be going? We can't let them get away. All they have to do is to eat three or four children and there'll be the most appalling publicity. <laughs> of course. Everybody's, and that would be the big problem. The everybody's PR. concerns are on point. <laughs> Cool. It's like Wizard of Oz. Yeah. Ah, ha, 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 ha. You knew it was coming, Pete. Uh, okay, Warner Brothers. Yeah. See, this is this is the kind of like, oh, we own all this stuff, so let's crash them together. That that's like fun. It's just enough. It's not too much. <laughs> oh. Ah. oh, yes. Ah. Ah. You are what you eat, John. Show sure enough. Are you having a run on the banks there yet? Well, it's rather brutal here. We're advising our clients to put everything they've got into canned food and shotguns. Yes, of course. <laughs> Nearest to you, and to go through it. <laughs> here in the building. I can't believe she's walking. She fell 40 stories. She held onto that rail, you know. That was investment advice I was given once. Invest in food, weapons, and medicine, because people will always need those. But booze is the one that's recession-proof. Right now, this building is on fire. What? Yes, the building is on fire. What? Enact the age-old drama of self-preservation. Fire! Enact the age-old drama of self-preservation. Hey. Oh no. Fun shot, fun shot. Oh no! 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 No carry a- Ah! Not bad, oh yeah. There we go, there we go. Cementum is so weird. Yeah. Come on. Is he gonna just become an actual gargoyle? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> that's awesome. So great. Nice. Very cool. I like yeah, it. Yeah, that was a very cool choice. Let go, Gremlin. With a cigar. Yeah. Ouchies. Hurt Gizmo, hurt me. Yeah. <laughs> Was it Noah's Ark up here? How many animals are you experimenting on? Too many. The horror. I will never hurt anything ever again. For some things, but man is not meant to displace. He is a problem tenant. <laughs> he is a problem tenant. They're real. I saw them. I know. I've seen them too. But where? In my laboratory. What? Stupid name. I know. It wasn't my own. Uh, uh, <laughs> 
Oh my god. I would have killed to see this in a theater. Me too. That would have been because you would think. Oh, how perfect. Whoa. <laughs> oh my god. Nudie, nudie. Of course. Of course. Sun worshiper. Wow. This is like a nudist colony movie. This is worse than the first one. We just show these movies, madam. We don't make them. Hi, <laughs> quick. <laughs> Those things have taken over the projector. They refuse to show the rest of the film. All they want to see is Snow White, the seven dwarfs. Enough. I'll take care of this. Yes, of course you will. Yes. <laughs> the projectionists look familiar, too. We have gremlins in the projection booth. Could you help us? Gremlins. What? Now? What? Hulkmania? Listen up. People pay good money to see this movie. When they go out to a theater, they want cold sodas, hot popcorn, and no monsters in the projection booth. Yes, agree. Do you think the Grimsters can stand up to the Hulkster? Yes. I'd run the rest of Gremlins too, right now. Sorry, folks. It won't happen again. <laughs> this is my favorite movie of all time. I don't care. No movie comes close to this. <laughs> what a wild choice that was. Yeah. So fun. They really enjoyed themselves with that one. They did that and they were like, yup. Yeah. New batch, baby. Unfortunately, police are not permitting any news media inside the building at this time. But just as soon as we are allowed in, we will, of course, be broadcasting live from inside the building. Oh. <laughs> Now's your chance. Let's Get on go, that baby. Get daytime telly. No more 3 a.m. for you. Can you work a TV camera? Work a camera? I am the camera. Yes, you are, my man. <laughs> He's an icon. I'm so glad this guy has an actual purpose here. Shazam! Yes! <laughs> oh, electric gremlin! Oh my god, cool! Do not throw in face. Why specifically? Oh, it's acid. That, that would make sense, yes. Ah, gremlin of the opera! Oh my. Trans gremlin? Gremlet? This is a complete failure of management. Yes, indeed. I do have some small assault weapons. Bye -bye. Of course. Ooh la la. The lips. Oh my god, those lips. It's like Miss Piggy or something. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> They're going to end up together by the end of it. Oh! Damn. With the Uzi. There must be a much better bigger budget on this movie. Yeah. Or maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> Classic bit. <laughs> For Gizzle. Revenge of Gizmo. Gizmo fights back. Yeah. Gizmo strikes back. From the lobby of the Clamp Center building, where this invasion by strange creatures, uh, perhaps from another galaxy or from a dimensional war. Oh. Imagine watching the news and that's what's on. You'd be like, what? This is this will be the news channel I exclusively tune into. Clean for the Dracula. Dracula? Dracula. I was going to say, has did Christopher Lee ever play a Frankenstein? Because I know he played like a thousand Draculas. I don't know. Swole Gizmo, let's go. Ah. Uh, These horrible little green monsters in that building there. Uh, come on, Mr. Futterman. The gremlins. You get them with, they're only going to multiply. Look, you got them in there. I know how to deal with them. Sure, pal. Do you? Put cement on them? Don't talk to me like I'm crazy. I'm not crazy. Oh, no. 
I was never crazy. I'm fine. Let me in there. Yeah. I'm fine. I just won't take a cab with a Russian person. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just a normal kind of crazy, all right? Not like seeing monsters on the wing crazy. I no 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 nope 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 no Bill, how's it going? Any progress? Oh, just tell me there's progress. <laughs> it's horrible. Only one of my channels is still in the air. They're human beings in this building, real lives. Do you have any idea what kind of lawsuits we're looking at here? Oh my uh, god. Every time you like, think oh, he's oh, about oh, to be yeah. human, yeah. Clever. Oh, I love it. it. Looks like the Grateful Dead. What is that? It's one of those things. They come in electric too? They do now. They do now. He's in the phone system on hold. He's on hold? No, the music. The music. The music. Because of the end of civilization, the clamp cable network now leaves the air. What? We hope you have enjoyed life. Ah, uh, I see. It is. <laughs> He's crying. Is there any way that we could possibly turn all the clocks ahead in the building, say three hours? Bill, there is nothing we can't do in this building. Why? <laughs> well, you see, sir, sunlight kills these things. That's why they're all in here. But if we can fool them into thinking that the sun has actually gone down, well, then maybe they'll all gather in the lobby. That's the only way out of the building, those front doors. <laughs> Sun sets at 732. Well, then we should make our move at, say, 420. Oh, I like that. <laughs> I like 422, baby. He does, yeah. Won't they see the sun still out? But that's the tricky part, sir. You'll have to take care of that. You'll have to set it up from the outside. Oh, I finally get to use my secret exit. Of course you have a secret exit. You could save the city. Save the city. Oh my Developer God. save city. I like that. Good. <sighs> He's going to get all the credit. Oh, Regular my God. Regular Bruce Wayne over here. Hello. Hello. I'm still employed in this charming facility. I Is need anybody? I need in my office now. In my office now, John. Let's go. My biological clock is ticking here. Would you like me to bang away on it in the dark? Is that it? Oh. Of course. This is new. Because you're like a spider woman. Let's go, Rambo. I love this training montage. Gizbo. Gizbo. John Gizbo. Hey, I'm a gremlin, okay? You know? Or a Rambo. Rambo. Is Bo Ramo. Oh my god. <laughs> I adore. Incredible. I, I love Incredible. I love Clamp so much. He's gonna use this to get in the building. Are you trying to panic New York City? Absolutely not. So the monsters are real? I didn't say that. And when are you saying that? Uh, just what I always say, Mike. I don't know. <laughs> just what I always say. IDK. Let's go, Murray. Yeah. Yes, my dude, we're in. It's good attention to detail, too, with the blood on his forehead. Gizmo? It's a Gizmo. periodontal surgery office. Uh, Owie. Loving all the silhouette stuff. Oh, yeah. Like, all the different ways in which they capture and, and depict them and all the different techniques they use is so great. And I love his little paperclip rope. Oh, yeah. Like it ain't nothing. Swole Gizmo to the rescue. But what's he going to do? Slingshot. Katniss Evergiz. <laughs> Cat Giz Gremmer Dean. <laughs> An entire race of strange little beings has invaded the class center building. <laughs> Yeah, what do you like to be called? Mm -hmm. ah! Fred, what we want is, I think, what everyone wants and what you and your viewers have. Civilization. Ugh. What sort of civilization are you speaking of, preacher? The niceties, Fred, the fine points. Diplomacy, compassion. Yes, of that course. is what they want. The beers. We 
we may ah. stumble along the way, but <gasps> civilization, yes. Oh. The Geneva Convention, chamber music, Susan Sontag. All the, all the greats. <laughs> That's what we aspire to. We want to be civilized. I mean, you take a look at this trail here. Who is doing the voice? Ugh! Oh! There are the Broadway shows. We'll have to find out how to get tickets. There's also a lot of street crime, but I believe we can watch that for free. Sure. We can watch it for free. These uh, things can only come out when it's dark, so we've uh, we've set all the clocks in the building ahead three hours. They'll all muster in the lobby. You know, getting ready to come out. Then we drop this thing. The sunlight will come pouring through these front windows here and fry them. Like, what's the catch to that? There's got to be some kind of way that could go wrong, right? Well, maybe not enough direct gets, light. Maybe it gets gizmo. Oh, I hope not. Gizmo deserves a rest. It's funny. No, 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 no. It's funny that they torture. Like they don't just hurt. They they think it's funny for sport. Yeah. Is it safe? Murray. Oh, smat, smat. Billy. Oh no. Oh no. Yes, you are. I could help you, or I could just leave you here. Nothing happened. Uh, it was strictly business, I'll be honest with you. I did have designs on him. I didn't get to first base, okay? Sure, why not? Thank you for that. <laughs> this is like a nail clipper. Uh... <laughs> wow. Uh. And just that like chittering sound it makes. Ugh. Yes. Gizbo. Gizbo. <laughs> Let's go, my friend. Yes. Sly Stallone taught you well. I love Gizmo. Gizmo is the MVP. The greatest. What happened to him? I don't know. Oh. I guess they pushed him too far. Yeah. To win a war, you've got to become a war. That's right. Something terrible happened to me when you were on Lincoln's birthday. What? I was six or seven. And I remember oh. I had the day off from school. And Mom had let what? me go to the park. Made me a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I was going through that peanut butter and jelly sandwich phase. <laughs> As you do. This man, his Honey, beard, um, and a hat looked just like Abe Lincoln. Honey, I really don't think we've got time for this now, you know. That was clearly a moment she was having. I, don't, I mean. What just happened? I don't know. I, I, <laughs> I'm like, I don't know if I want to hear the end of the story. I do, but it's I don't. It's like a Santa. Like, yeah, I'm like, what else horrible happened to this poor girl? Stop spreading the news. Music! Oh, even today. today. Da, da, I want da, 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 to be da, da, a part da, da, da. of it. New York, New, New York. York. These ah. vagabond shoes. These vagabond Love Reeboks. Him. And step around the hall a bit. New York, New York. <laughs> These guys aren't bad. I wanna... <laughs> you know, when you're right, you're right. These strange <laughs> creatures now appear to be mounting what seems to be a musical number. <laughs> How'd y'all get in those trash cans? Yes. 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 Are they going to feel too bad to kill them now? Debatable. <laughs> oh my God. I'm uh, not bad. I'm just drawn movies. that way. This movie is an acid trip. Yes, it is. Ready to drop this thing? Oh yeah. Oh, oh my no. god. No. What? You knew it. Ugh. <laughs> Dining after midnight in New York. Perfection. There must be endless options. Oh. Yes, get that Warner Bros. to two. <laughs> dum, 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 dum. 
We know that they must make it out in some capacity because they stopped the movie from playing. Oh, classic shot. Classic recreation. There's a fire hose around the corner. I want you to find it and aim it into the lobby, okay? Into the lobby? What, are you crazy? Just do it and do it fast. Find a box for Gizmo, put him in it, and make sure he doesn't get wet. Okay. Marla, smoke. <laughs> smoke, Mr. Gribble. Marla be useless. Yeah, the LVP. <laughs> Big uh, loogie gremlin. Oh, my God. Don't mess with Murray Yeah, that's right. Don't mess. Turn it on! <laughs> Wait, wouldn't this make them sprout more? Yeah. What did they put in there other than the water? What is it? I sure hope you know what the hell you're doing. Yeah, Jesus. Yeah, what's your plan, man? Oh, smart. Turn off the hose! Hit it! Go forth. Oh! A baseball gremlin, a night gremlin. Good looking electricity effects. Wow! <laughs> Very risky plan. Yeah. Skella gremlins. I it. Bring it back some of those wicked witch vibes from the first one. They seem to be just melting into horrible little green and brown puddles. Well, I can't say what it looks like on television, ladies and gentlemen, but it looks terrible. It's like a booger swamp. Yeah, Mike, what was he even saying? Yeah. Oh, you were so close, man. Oh, that smile. You were so close to your convenient credit, even despite past discrepancies. Hey, and finally, here comes the cavalry. <laughs> Oh my god, he's got a gun. A uniform. Whoa! He wanted to save the city. We're here exclusively with Daniel hey, hey, R. Hey, Plank. hey, 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 wait a minute. Who told you to go on my network with all this news coverage? It just seemed like news, so I got a cameraman. Right. And we Right. Right. I'm making you an anchor. I'm making me six o'clock weeknights, huh? I want you to go hey. down to Barney's and see about some new clothes, though. No, do it as Dracula. Careful, that stuff's slippery. Looks like you bailed us out here. It wasn't just me, sir. Talk about a corporate bailout. Are we Marla. supposed to like him? Yes, sir. Clamp? You work <laughs> for me, don't you? I think kind of maybe a little tiny bit. Oh, my God, they're in love. Yes, he's a yuppie. Like, he's totally... Very, very hard. Oh, look out now. Very, very hard. The hardest. Could we have a statement? Here, please. My new head of public relations here will handle all questions. Oh, wow. What happened? Where's the camera? I cannot tell you. It was indescribably horrible. We had to stop work altogether. Absolutely. Yes, the true nightmare. Well, sir, you kept the city safe. That's a good point. You know, that could be good in my next book. I should be taking notes. Who's got a pencil? Paper. <laughs> this guy. It's Kingston Falls. This is what I've been looking for. Oh, I want to build it for my next project over in Jersey. This is terrific. This oh my is God. what people want now, the traditional community thing. Oh, my God. Uh, people really can change. Uh, Are you Mrs. Peltzer? Yes. I love well, this. Uh, I'm going to be. Aww. Oh. This is Gizmo. What? He's a mogwai. Look at him. You know what I see? Rambo. Dolls with suction cups staring out car windows. A big yep. Of Macy's Day Parade. Has anybody ever yep. talked to you about merchandising? Yep. No. Well, there is definitely something there. Maybe lose that headband, though. Yeah, we, we can't afford the rights to that. Remember she said if they got through the day, he's in big trouble? Yeah. You gotta ask about the lipstick you found on his face. I know the other girl said nothing happened, but, like, you gotta double check, my girl. Yeah. 
You put a thin glaze of pasteurized processed cheese food on top. Yes, yes. We'll be with you in a minute. MTV. MTV, HBO. Who wants to know if we have cable? No. Nick at night? Gizmo got good taste in programming. Forrester, what are you do? Okay, okay, we'll get you out of there. What floor? Wow, way up there. No, it'll take a while. The elevators are out and all the automatic doors are locked. We'll do what we can, Forrester. Just keep your pants on. Keep your pants on. Miss Piggy got to him. That's very generous, sir. A half day off once the building is operational. Thank you, sir. Very generous. She made it. Oh, my goodness gracious me. Beautiful. Oh, boy. You know... In the right light, she is pretty beautiful. The Lucky Bachelor. Yep, yep, yep. Get you someone who loves you for you. <laughs> Bizarre. Bizarre. Oh my god. Howie Mandel. Damn. Okay, Tony Randall. Damn. The, they call them the brain. Uh, My friends. That's good. We have just finished Gremlins 2, the new batch. I would like you yogurt jerks. What a great, <laughs> what a great credit. If uh, you happen to be listening on Apple or Spotify. Just go ahead and leave us a rating. Maybe five star. you know, just a suggestion. Five stars are bust, bro. Yeah, very much appreciated. It helps spread the good word of the reject nation, but uh, oh my God. Okay. Roxanne. Thrilled to be partnering with a brand I've been using for nearly two years now, and that's Harry's Razors. I'm generally more drawn to anything that goes against the norm, and Harry's does just that in the grooming world. They saw the high prices in the industry and decided to blaze their own trail with quality and affordability. I keep a beer, but whenever you see these cheeks in the neck clean, then that's the work of Harry's right there. Keeps my wife happy, and Harry's makes it effortless. They're precision blades that cut smoothly with less drag, making every shave satisfying. And yes, it's versatile for... Other areas too, you know what I mean? So as a Harry's devotee, I can vouch for their value. You can experience unparalleled comfort and quality in your grooming routine where exceptional craftsmanship meets affordability, making a smart choice for a top-notch shave without breaking the bank. Their kits and value packs for shaving are unbeatable, but Harry's is not just about shaving. Again, they offer top quality, thoughtfully designed grooming products, including shampoo, conditioner, and amazing body wash without the premium price. Quality, affordability, that's a thesis of this. Now these I actually pulled right from my own bathroom. I regularly use their five blade razor with a nice weighted handle and their foaming shave gel man this that ball it is a game changer i just like the feel of it now I have to commit to keeping this in my hand the whole time because I'm not going to go to the bathroom in the middle of shooting this. The handles, they feel perfectly balanced. And the razor sleek design is a classy addition to my bathroom. And the quality of the shave, unparalleled. Got to reiterate, keep part of my weekly grooming ritual because their entire range of products fits seamlessly into my routine. Stuff in no reshoots here. Their German engineer blades are durable and refill plans are economical. Rarely use the word economical, but I'm using it now. Plus, their commitment to high customer satisfaction and no risk trial makes Harry's a no brainer Brainer. This gel really does feel good. Let me say once more, choosing Harry's means quality and affordability. By grabbing your $13 trial set for just $3 at harrys.com slash rejects, you're not only getting a great deal, but you're also supporting this channel. That's harrys.com slash rejects for your $3 trial set. Stay sharp and embrace the extraordinary with Harry's. Till next time, Reject Nation. Till next time. Big thanks to ExpressVPN for sponsoring this video, a real game changer I've been using for years. That's right, years. So whenever they want to work with us, it's an instant yes. You've likely heard about ExpressVPN for online privacy and security, but there's more to it than that. However, there was a very real incident recently with Spectrum shutting down my internet and contacting me due to a suspecting hacking attempt. And funny enough, I realized I hadn't actually activated my ExpressVPN on my new laptop that I got a couple of months ago. So I was paying the consequences. Having faced a serious hacking issue on 
on YouTube a couple of years ago, that made ExpressVPN my go-to for both security and freedom. I mean it. And yes, what you've heard is true. Believe me, this channel knows. You can use ExpressVPN to watch movies and shows on Netflix that are not available in your country. This means accessing a vast array of content of over 100 countries, like a global cinema at your fingertips. It's super easy. Open ExpressVPN, switch locations, refresh the browser, and there you have it. Whether it's K-dramas on South Korean Netflix, Hulu, BBC, iPlayer, YouTube, or more, ExpressVPN has you covered. And it's incredibly fast, ensuring no buffering or lag for smooth HD streaming. It's versatile too, working on not just computers, but phones, media consoles, smart TVs, and more. This means you can enjoy your favorite shows on anywhere, any screen, protect and elevate your internet experience. So if you want to get access to hundreds of new shows, use my link, expressvpn.com slash rejects. And you can get an extra three months of ExpressVPN for free. That's expressvpn.com slash rejects. So head to expressvpn.com slash rejects to learn more. Thank you again. Yeah, I, I just, to start, because of the whole thing with the genres, everybody, the genre of the first movie is different than the genre of the second movie. Did you feel like these were completely different genres? And if so, what genre was this movie? Deme they're both demented. Demented. I, like, I, yeah, this is definitely a departure from the first one. Although, I do feel like, in a way, and, uh, oh, props to Rick Baker, definitely, like, going above and beyond for this movie, but, um... Uh, oh, and Mark Mangini, damn. Sorry, I, I I met him a couple times. I used to teach improv, I think, to his kid. Anyway. That's cool. Uh, yes, and? I feel like, you know, this movie has a reputation for being wild and off the walls and like a, a big departure from the first one. And, and certainly it, I get that and it is, but it's not quite as like completely different. Oh, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> Daffy Duck. Uh, yeah, it's it's definitely different, but I feel like it makes sense the direction they took it in and, and the sort of madcapness. Like, I guess it's a little less horror movie, monster movie when it comes down to it, but it still has those tones and those notes. It's just like going for more madcap more of the time. But in a way, this felt kind of like the natural sequel you would you would want to do to me but what did you think i i didn't feel like they were that different genres they were both like really uniquely absurd yeah with comedy and horror and um camp mm -hmm. and yeah i enjoyed this one as much as the first one it did feel a little longer this one i don't know if it actually was sure but i didn't mind that because i was so invested Patently ridiculous <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to cut those in. It, but even things like that, like it, I feel like this movie knew what it was. I think because of the first one, it felt confident in itself. And it was like, we are going to have fun with this if it kills us. Yeah. And they knew when to like just stopping the movie more than halfway through and pretending like the gremlins cut it. It was mm. genius. And, and I, yeah, I feel like this movie knew exactly what it wanted to be. It delivered on that. It was so weird. That one moment with Phoebe Cates with the... The Lincoln thing. Still lurking about? Don't you people have home? <laughs> Don't worry, Daffy. We'll be there in no time. The Lincoln thing, which is obviously a reference to the Santa thing. Like that she just breaks off into these monologues and it clearly wanted to just like oh. play on that, you know? There is like a meta humor about this one. In that it, yeah, is sort of playing off beats from the first one and counting on you to be like, oh, no, here we go, you know, and then s sort of subverting like that. I felt like that was handled. Part of me wanted to hear the story, but part of me was also like, all you need is this mm -hmm. to to satisfy what is happening here. Yeah. Of like, oh, God, of course, she's got another tra like how much tragedy lays in this character's past. And it's such a striking kind of dramatic beat of the first movie. Yes! <laughs> no, you don't. Whoa. 60 years of hugging the end title is enough. <laughs> That's all, folks. Whoa. Yes, Chuck Jones, I was going to say. It's that, he looked a little grinchy. I'm getting better at pulling animators and stuff. And they credited the local animation uh, guild in the credits. But, uh, yeah, like I, I like that. Yeah, me too. Like, and, and I love the wraparound of the Looney Tunes characters because mm -hmm. like this is Looney. very much a Looney movie. Yeah, it's very much a Looney Tune. And yeah, like having that beat with her is just such a funny lore thing because you're like, 
this girl just must have tons of tragedy in her past. And, uh, and yeah, like I liked in the previous movie that that becomes like a whole poignant little moment and you really do feel for her. And here it's a different kind of movie and I get why they didn't go into that. Cause there's not, I, I think, you know, the, the motif of the quiet, you know, bucolic town versus, you know, the bustle of the big city, like it suits the, the tone and setting of this movie to have it be like, oh my God, on Abraham Lincoln's birthday or whatever, on President's Day, you know, this guy came up and then, you know, we we get Shuffle it and we away. move on. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This felt very much like Ghostbusters to me. Like it felt oh, sure. very tonally similar. It came out in 1990, I'm seeing. So yeah, you were right about not the late 80s, but the early 90s. It makes sense for the time. Even this like art that we're looking at on Amazon Prime with the one finger and looking at the city. Yeah. Uh, it just the the whole thing, it screams late 80s, early 90s. It screams sequel, but in the best way possible. This is before sequels were annoying as hell. Yeah. It made it did its own thing. It the set was completely different, which I really appreciated that we didn't uh just stick on the same situation that we had in the first one. We went different place, bigger. Uh, now we're nervous about the entire city, right? I mean, I guess at the end of the last one we were, but this, it just felt like there was more danger. And because we knew about it, we only knew partially how to stop them, but not completely how to stop mm -hmm. them. We went about stopping them in a different way. The electricity thing, like nothing was wasted. That came back into play. Everything, kind of, the Rambo, seeing that on the TV came back into play. There was a lot of callbacks, a lot of references. This worked for me. <laughs> this was weird. This worked for me immensely, and, and and again, like it has that reputation of being like a such a WTF kind of movie. And I know that like up until this point, I have associated the two movies with like people love Gremlins; it's a classic, and then two is like a cult classic. Mm -hmm. But I feel like it's a perfect one-two punch. Yeah, it's like it it does a lot of things you expect from a sequel in that it's changing up the setting, it's going a bit bigger, it's expanding even further on the Gremlins lore. Like I loved here that you had. Uh, uh, the mad science department basically where they find all the different means of coming up with infinite variations of the gremlins you know we've seen them in different outfits and with different like personalities but here yeah we see them like in actual different morphed warped formations leading up to the one who can talk who sounds that like, was awesome yeah and, and and them like kind of evolving and like the cognitive dissonance of like all the chaos they caused and yet he's over here like yes we just want all the amenities of high society and civilization, yes. And, like, yeah, the, this was, like, the perfect... It, it maintained... And then he shoots the ground. <laughs> yeah. Like, it maintained the perfect irony in line with the first movie because the first movie is, like, sweet and it is a holiday movie and there's, like, a familial element there that makes it kind of a, a bit genuine while it's also being sort of ornery and wild. And this one certainly ramps up on the, the craziness and stuff. Um, but yeah, it's like, it made sense. You don't have quite as much like character story going on. Like it's a pretty familiar setup. It's like, okay, so Billy and, uh, and oh God, Kate moved to the big city and you know, they're, they're trying to make life happen there. And I like that, you know, the clamp industries place, you know, brings the spirit of dad along and the whole starting it out with like them trying to build space age Chinatown and wanting to evict the old man just like little touches to tie it back into the first one without like over uh, like over laboring or forcing those things to be like a full on part of the plot like I thought the stuff they maintained and brought back worked and we have the image of home to remind us but it really did feel like yeah we moved away to a new spot and uh, and yeah there's a lot of fun corporate satire which which that element of the movie with just all the different yuppies that we meet working at clamp and then clamp himself and just like the attitude about gadgets and gizmos and smart anything like there's so much about this gizmos. that i think yeah that i think has actually gotten more relevant and it's funny because you know you see a lot of things like this that make you go oh the more times change the more they stay the same but like this is 1990, and he called it, like, a smart building, which is, like, very today uh, vernacular. Like, I'm sure stuff was called smart when it was super tech back then. I but remember not the, to the Disney degree. show Smart House or the Disney movie that came out when we were kids, Smart House? Smart House or Smart Guy? No, Smart Guy was the um, Taj Mowry show. Okay. Smart House. That smart was one house? of those decoms. 
Oh, I think I missed this. Oh, whoa. Let me see what year pull that up, was. Pull it up. Because, yeah, like that stuff I thought, you know, got actually, you know, I'm sure it was fun and biting at the time. But like so much of what the rest of the movie is doing, aside from the chaos, the sat like the social satire is like super sharp and, and relevant even now, which I thought was just like very kind of charming. And it's always like a 99. fun. I've seen this poster. Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah. Okay. So yeah, you know, like uh, the whole and and it's okay. So smart. It's creeping into the in the nineties. Yeah, yeah, but this was probably. I mean, this is early ninety. This is ninety. Yeah, this isn't that transition point where you're still the aesthetic is still very much eighties, but it's starting to shift into what will eventually become the nineties. Right. Style. If I'm being, and I know you guys love this. If I'm being nitpicky, do it. Pick a if nit. If I'm picking nits. While this movie did really work for me, I mean, the women are so 90s in this. Like, and I don't What mean, are you talking about? And I don't mean how women were in the 90s. I mean how women were written in the 90s and in the 80s. What to, for, are you talking about? For two lead characters, it's like you are either a woman throwing yourself at men that you know are taken or you're a woman turning a blind eye because that's your bae and you don't care and you're just going to stand by your man. And it's like sure. the lack of... the. The fact that the, uh, I, I feel like in this, you know, the dude characters are very much uh, save the day, going to figure it out. Even the rich guy, the rich character who is like, you know, doing the damn thing. Freaking clamp. Yeah, clamp. <laughs> I feel like he had plenty of layers. It's like he's a uh, not a good dude, but there's some redeeming qualities with the women. I was just like. Okay, well, I think that both of you guys are doing this exactly how it was written. Both these actresses are killing it here. Yeah. Uh, it would be nice to have a little, like, nuance in it. But, it, you know, it works for this kind of movie, but it is just very 80s, 90s. I was like, there's just no way there was a woman in this room when they were writing this. I do. Uh, yeah, I, I can't at all argue with that because, like, the the bummer is that Kate, is so endearing in the first she's movie. So endearing. And she's not the the main focus of that movie, but she is like a distinct supporting character. And here I thought Phoebe Cates was was she still maintained the loveliness of that character. But but we like her as an actress because yeah. she's she's sweet and she's cute and uh, yeah, I mean But yeah, it. she she is on the margins. And I mean even even though Billy is still the lead, even he is sort of like there's so much. I mean, the Gremlins are the star of this movie, but yeah, uh, Kate and and what's her name, Marla Bloodstone. Yeah, yeah, like they are super archetypical. And at least for Kate, like I could have maybe done with just yeah, like a little bit more of like a core. That's the thing is you that moment with her backstory does play funny. I like what it is in isolation, but if you look at it in context of the whole movie, it is sort of indicative of how those characters are treated. Yeah, like a throwaway, a write-off. Like, like, okay, like, and we're moving on. Even yeah. Dr. Catheter has his big character arc moment. Like, if we get out of this, I will never do this ever again. This is not what, you know? <laughs> yeah, and I and I mean, like, I, I love the, the madcapness of what the just ecosystem of the building is and yeah, how like, you know, they're not even fully aware of who's renting and why and like, oh, I, I knew we should have put a plastic surgery place in there instead of a gene splicing place in there and, and like, yeah, it's fun to have, like there are so many character actors throughout this and yeah, like Christopher Lee, like there, there are a lot of nods and I, and I enjoyed too the different, little monster movie bits you've got like the phantom the opera one who does like the phantom shot at one point and you have christopher lee who's like a hammer movie veteran and all sorts of genre movie veteran um and then you know you got like uh yeah obviously dick miller's back and even like the cameraman guy like all these all these different familiar looking that guys and whatnot um and yeah like it's interesting i feel like the characters in this one except for Billy and Kate to a degree exist to be these caricatures more than anything. Totally. Yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's not like every character is perfectly written except for the women. It, uh, there's a lot yeah. of different flaws um, and, it, and it does work fine. I noticed on Amazon that, I mean, it works more, more than fine. It's a great movie, but I noticed on Amazon, one of the things that I thought was interesting. so it says that it's, um, I forget, but like thriller or comedy, there's yeah, a okay, campy so and frightening. Can't be frightening comedy, but the one that I thought was interesting is that it lists itself as a fantasy. What do you think about that? I I agree. Uh, yeah, like because uh, 
I mean, fantasy I and, and horror flirt, you know, with each other quite, quite a lot genre wise. And, and yeah, like I, especially having Gizmo because you have the fact that Gizmo is so dear and sweet and and there is a version of the gremlins that is that too and there is this sort of peripheral magic and even that like they they're commenting directly on like what are the rules it's midnight somewhere like stuff yes, like that i thought was great that. but but yeah like the fantasy element is is yeah is in full swing here because too like you know monster movies and mad science i feel like dips into fantasy as well so while this is often skewing gross and demented there's definitely yeah there's definitely an air of fantasy and and the this the whimsy uh with which the rest of the world is depicted and that's what i liked about clamp actually like i would be totally down as well for a version of this movie where he's revealed to just be the worst mm -hmm. and gets like you know some kind of horrible end but i also appreciated the quirk of the choice that he is disconnected just this sort of well-meaning <laughs> misled guy with a lot of resources and power who yeah is like disconnected and who is always kind of getting halfway there and then kind of missing the point and you know that whole thing at the end where he's like you know this isn't a place for people you know and you think he's kind of waking up to everything and he's like i'm gonna build something different i'm gonna build something that's cozy and homey and we're gonna make the most state-of-the-art version of something quiet and peaceful and like you see the conflict of the whole character and the conflict of like again it's a nice contrast because it's not like in your face it kind of is but not it's not uh, like directly speaking it to you. Like the first movie does embody this peaceful, calm, small town vibe that then gets, you know, upended by the gremlins. Whereas here, yeah, you're in kind of the fully formed corporate fantasy where everybody is like so down the rabbit hole of, you know, those concerns and like seems like everybody in the clamp building just seems completely detached from life. <laughs> you yeah. Know? yeah. 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 And uh, yeah. Just was thinking when I initially said it's just funny, like imagine asking somebody what's your favorite fantasy movie and you, you think that they're going to say, I don't know, Star Wars or Harry Potter or and like, like Gremlins. Too. Legend or, or yeah, like, the Willow or. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like this, but this is it. I'll take Gremlins. Also interesting that the way that they describe this, they say, um, that Billy and Kate reunite with their furry friend Gizmo to destroy a mischievous new breed of talking gremlins. And it's like, I don't know about talking the gremlins. One talks. Yeah. One, just the one. And there's only enough brain juice for the one of you. And he was funny. Okay, so this worked for us. Yeah. Is, just, is there a gremlin story? I don't think so. I don't know, though. I mean, uh, maybe they'll come back and do one. Joe there's Dante's one, still out there. I would love another gremlins before we What would you want? You know, I could see them doing a movie where <laughs> where Bill and Kate, you know, are older now. You know, you get the actors back and they have their own kids now and Gizmo's still living with them. And, you know, they're about to be like, OK, you know, you're whoever their kid is. It's like you're getting to that right age. We're going to we're going to introduce you to our little friend here. Oh, they've been hiding Gizmo. You. Maybe. I don't know. We'll, we'll work out those details. When we well, get in the Giz writer's room. Gizmo's going to have a complex if he feels hidden from the kids this whole time. <laughs> Maybe Gizmo has. No, no, okay. So Gizmo lives in the house and has like a whole, there have got to be inventions around. And Gizmo has like little things he can ride around to like yeah, yeah. help him get to stuff. And like little safeguards to make sure no gremlin mischief you know, comes to pass, and then maybe... It's like what Greg and Olivia did with all the cats. With all the cats. Yeah, stuff. they can run around free. And then the kids really want to play with the with Gizmo, but they're like, you know, we got to take this slow. Okay, this isn't... They're not a toy. They're a real living thing, and there's rules. And then maybe the kids, you know, just like, you know, mom and dad go to sleep. They maybe break Gizmo out and, and then, you know, cause some havoc. And then we get a whole new 21st century take. From your mouth to the universe's ears. Yeah. Okay, Gremlins 3 coming to you <sighs> soon. And like the bit where they're in the movie, that's one thing is I wish I like to see that in the theater would have been so great. Sick. I, w I, yeah. I thought something was wrong at first. Did you immediately know what was happening? I'm, I'm used to seeing enough film burn effects that I, that, when when it was like the initial jitters, I was like, okay, is the stream okay? Yeah, the, when you see when, the white, then I and then the film know, yeah. starts to burn, and you're like, okay, well, this isn't, this cannot be, this could poss not possibly be conjured by digital television. So this, this cannot is part be. Of yeah, but uh, oh, like even still, like the amount of commitment they did to that, and and I I've heard it said like, uh, 
them making this sequel. I, I don't know if maybe they were like trying to get other people to do it or, or whatever. And eventually Joe Dante was like, yeah, if you let me, I don't just want to remake Gremlins. If you let me come in and do my thing and, you know, make the, the story and the satire I want to make, like I'll do it. And I think the, and people can clarify in the comments, but I think the studio was like, yeah, as long as it's got gremlins in it, man, just like come in and make him make more. <laughs> so, so yeah, like I really appreciate it. Make a, a new batch. Make a new batch. That's, that's it. And like, I got, we got to go watch the Key and Peele sketch now because there's like a, a famous Key and Peele sketch about like how this movie was conceived. Um, Should we react to it? <laughs> here at the end? I, the problem is, I don't know if that's going to destroy the monetization of this video. So we'll do that in our own time. Comedy Central's pretty anal about Let stuff. Let us live. All right? Let us watch things Let on our own. That's it. it for now. We'll see you guys soon on behalf of Ron Joxy, baby. Baby. That was some drippy moist. That was drippy. Oh, that was so drippy, so moist, so gooey. Not gooey, man. It was gooey. And we had like a late night horror TV's host. This had everything. This is the best movie. That, and they had Leonard Malton. And they had Leonard freaking Malton. And I and I love a gag like that. I feel like we need a super cut of all the times that notable critics have shown up in movies to do some meta bit where they slam the first movie and then get killed by the movie's mm -hmm. villains. I'm friends with his daughter, Jesse. Yeah. She's so lovely Jessie's and he's great. so great. Anyway, okay, we'll see you guys soon. Love Later, you, Rejects. Bye.